Once you've completed the meeting settings, you will see this screen, which includes the URL to your meeting room and, if you choose to include a phone line, the call-in information for your room. Note that if you feel a phone line is necessary for your meeting room, please email cii at bramman.edu to request one. You will also want to refer to the Advanced Adobe Connect training on managing audio with a phone line connected. When you wish to invite others to join you in your Adobe Connect room, you must include the following information. The URL or web address, and you must tell them what day and time you would like them to meet. It's also a great idea to include directions on how to log in to the meeting, as well as how to check their Adobe connection. Sample instructions can be found on the CII website. Once you have this information, you need to share it with your attendees. In the event that you are meeting with colleagues or other attendees that are not students, you can email them the information directly from Outlook, or you can invite them by sending a calendar invite from your Brandman Outlook account. In general, anytime you are meeting with students in Adobe Connect, you should use Blackboard as a primary way of communicating the meeting time and location. Each course has a virtual classroom or a virtual office button. Inside the button, you will find a place to enter your meeting information for students. To edit the information, you must click the drop-down arrow to the right of the item title and select Edit. Then, make sure to include the meeting URL and the meeting day and time and click Submit. If you have any trouble with this or it seems a bit too overwhelming, you can always contact Blackboard Support for help with setting this up. And for a full list of Blackboard support contacts by school, please visit brandman.edu slash tech support.